happening guys welcome back to the swill entertainment channel all right so i won't keep you guys here long but i'm going to show you guys i think i found the best best build ever guys yes i'm playing a mage hunter I started another character just hit 37 um not too long ago just hit 37 uh, i'm going to just go ahead and knock out a couple things and i'm going to show you guys what i'm doing here just to um show you guys why i think this is probably one of the best builds ever all right so i'm gonna go take it to homestead because i know that's where a lot of mobs are so we're gonna go right where the mobs are and now i'm not like the best at playing it but you know disclaimer just showing you guys what's up all right so this is not like a build you're gonna find online all right let me see if i remember how to play it's been a while like 24 hours <laughs> All right, this thing just rapes face, man. Like, I don't understand. Like, why is this stuff so strong? But, of course, there's a couple heroes out there. And you just go through here and you're just, like, raping some face, man. You know, I'm not using the best weapon or anything like that. I'm not using the best gear. But I'm using great gear, honestly. All right? So, I'm using mostly fire for this. Now, you can go ahead and try cold. You can try any other kind of element that you want. But from what I've seen so far, I think elemental, like as far as that kind of gear, is probably going to be your best bet. All right. So, I mean, it is what it is. I'm just going to show you guys a couple of these things. Just to showcase the build here, man, because that's what I do. I love trying different builds out. But so far, I think this, honestly, besides the Conjurer, are my, this is my strongest character right now. And this is ridiculous. Like, straight up ridiculous. Can I run through this? No, I cannot. I'm going to die. Alright, so I just want to find a bunch of mobs. And I thought, I thought I found a bunch of mobs, but for the most part, I did not. Well, hopefully my microphone is not too loud for you guys. I don't want to blow anyone's eardrums or anything like that. But I think my microphone may be kind of loud. And I got it sitting way over there. Alright, so let me go back out through here and look for some more mobs. Looking for some more mobs. Looking for some more mobs. And you don't have to do any kind of contact with mobs. Unless they're like higher level. Which I think right now I'm starting to even out with these mobs now. Finally. And that's all it is, man. I'm just straight up doing word of pain. Running through. Rinse and repeat. And I'm just putting on that XP. Fast as possible. And I'm not really picking up every single type of gear. But I'm picking up a lot of it for the most part. Um, this is a lot, man. Less effort, man. This is like a lazy... I can one-hand it if you want. You can. You know, you could do stuff like that. Um, you can bust through walls. But they'll, they'll tell you... The mobs will tell you where you gotta go to get to them. So they're running over this way. So there's a... I guess the gate... Oh, there it is. There it is. See? Use the mobs. Let the mobs tell you where to go. Already popping in a full bar here almost. Less than five minutes. Cinco minutos. Funf minutin. Oh. But yeah, man. Like I said, you're going to build this build, fire build, for the most part. Now, I need to go ahead and start getting some extra run speed so I can run through these little mobs like they're nothing. Rinse and repeat. Log in, log out, whatever. Just XP grind, man. Oh, man, I'm going to let this thing kill me. He came close. Came close, but not quite. All right, so in case you guys are wondering, let me go ahead and show you guys how you're going to build this build, period. It's the, this is just the way you're going to do it, period. There's no other if and buts about it, guys. You're going to do it this way, all right? Of course, there's some different variations you're going to do, all right? So you have Arcanist, of course, which I haven't only put maybe like three points into it. Which I don't even have to have those points into it at all. You can just pretty much just build this as an Inquisitor. Max out all of your points like I just did. <clears throat> and then start filling in the gaps. Okay. Just keep your mastery bar. Max out as much as you can. You're going to go ahead and start off with Word of Pain. Word of Pain is going to be your bread and butter guys. Okay. You're going to put points of course into also into Word of Renewal. You want to make sure you have points there as well. Alright. Max those out too. Well maybe not maxed out but you're going to put a lot of points into it. 
But pretty much this whole entire word of pain, this whole tree right here, this whole line, you're going to max all that out, period. That's just going to be like your first thing to do, okay? As you put points in, one or two points here and there, make sure you master, uh, go get your mastery bar out, okay? You're going to put some points in deadly aim. You're going to put points also into uh, ruin of Calistor, and then also points into ignition, okay? Um, don't forget to put points in the Quizzer Seal. I'm not finished with that one yet. Still got to put points there. And then lastly, actually, yeah, we already, we already talked about those death sentences. And then Aura, Aura of Center. Okay, you're going to put points in that as well. You're going to max this bad boy out. Okay. Arcanist is not so important. However, there are some different things. I need to look at my notes because I don't know where I'm going to go. Because I took notes on how I'm going to put my points in. Um, and then I'm going to go right back into it. But let me find my... my uh, Arcanist here because you're going to do Arcanist as well, but I'm going to show you guys devotions as well as much as I can. Um, so I haven't even put all my devotion, well, I put all my devotion points in, but I don't have all my uh, devotion points accumulated. All right, so we got that. Uh, we're going to put our, I would say about eight points or so into this one. Iskandra's Elemental Exchange. My camera's in the way. That's how I have to kind of like look a little bit down. Um, you're going to put your points also into Maven's Spear of Protection. I say about five, four to six points you're going to put here, okay? I don't think you need to put too much more into that. And then you're going to put about, I don't know, four or five points into this, maybe six also into the uh, conversion, okay? Also, you're going to, after that, you're going to put points into um, nullification. So pretty much all the way till I guess, 100 or 80 or whatever, I'm going to be putting points in all this stuff right here. So I'm only 37, and yeah, that's where I have to go for this for now. Um, you don't forget notification and lastly the last thing you're gonna put points into on this tree is gonna be devastation All right, so you put your points in devastation And then going to our devotion tree, it's gonna be a lot of different things you're gonna put points into but what I had started on um, I started putting points into um, Actually, I started off with this uh, scholars light. I did that first and Then I did quill, but I don't think there's really a, a right or wrong one you're gonna do um, you know, max this one out. Just you get the elemental damage, guys. When you're looking for your gear, of course, you're gonna look for fire, okay? But I found that whenever I look at my stats and I put points in fire or I put points in elemental damage, elemental is way more, it seems like. Um, you're gonna put points in the quill, you're gonna put points into fox, and also your points are gonna also go into magi, all right? But don't forget to come down here um, and put it in Rowan's crown, okay? This is where you're going to really get a lot of elemental damage, some spirit, and some other things like that. Because I know a lot of gear that you're going to be using is going to be telling you you need to have X amount of spirit. And you don't want to just put all your points in the spirit on your character sheet. You want to make sure you use it here. Okay. And from that point on, I think the owl is what we're going to start doing next after that. And I don't think there's anything else after that that I can see. Um, I think that's about it for now. Oh. And then I want to look for the, what is it? It's down here, I think. Oh, right here. Um, blind Sage. Don't forget to put points into Blind Sage. And then also you're going to put your points also into um, Oakland's Lantern. Okay. Oakland's Lantern. And I think that's going to pretty much bottom it all out. Once you max all these things out, you do that. All right. So I think that's pretty much it for that, the build. All right. Now, you definitely want, like I said, you want to make sure you put um, get all the gear you can get, period. Um, but you're really going to start putting points or not points. You're going to start looking for elemental fire is good, but you want to get some points in elemental. Now, let me show you the gear that I have now. I don't have an offhand that I was looking for. That was the stats that I need. So I have this do this two hand, which has fire and cold damage and lightning damage. So it just, if whatever character you're going for this sword right here, the conduit is like, it's going to cover the bases for you. It has all three of those elements there. So you can't go wrong. Plus, you get those modifiers for like the elemental damage and then the plus 60% elemental damage as well. All right, it's going to pop in some spirit here for you also. So you just can't go wrong with that. Um, fire damage, more on this other gear. I'm using, I'm using green gear, guys. Like, shoot, come on. <laughs> Who says green gear sucks? Not me. All right, and you got your Aether Leg Guards of Fortitude. This is what I'm using, guys. This is not like, like I said, this is not optimal. I'm doing this much damage with this crappy gear. All right, um, shoulders. Got fire damage, burn damage, got cunning, offensive abil ability, things like that. 
Then of course, inscribed bracers got some elemental damage, elemental damage, and burn damage, and frost burn damage, electrocute damage, which is not too important, and cast speed. All right, skill disruption protection. So those mobs like to like stick you in a corner and you can't do anything. You get interrupted every time you try to cast something. This is gonna help with that. Okay, from what I can tell, I don't really see too much of a difference like that because I try not to get caught up in the corner. So far, I haven't. I think when I get to like higher level mobs, it's gonna probably happen for the most part. All right, and then of course I got the Mystic Frontier Sabatons of the Arcane Blaze. So of course we're gonna get some fire damage off of this, arcane damage, spirit, all right, offensive ability, vitality, resistance, and things like that. Now I have an offhand right here. It has cold damage and elemental damage. Not bad, but the thing is I don't have a, a main hand yet until I get a little bit higher level. That's gonna have stats that I need. Now this one is good once I hit 50. All right, I'm only 37. So once I hit 50, I can switch over to this. Then I can switch over to an offhand that has some things like that. Now I do also have some shields. And I'm talking fast, guys. I don't want to make this video too long for you guys. Alright, so we got that. We got the... Well, actually, I'm not going to use this. I'm going to sell this. Uh, I got this resistant flesh warped defender of mending. Okay. Fire damage. And um, then it also has percent fire damage. Um, yeah, this is pretty good. I'm going to sell this right here too. So I have some gear that I have that I'm going to keep. Like, there's fire damage when I hit 42. So we're okay on that, I think. That may be something to look forward to using, maybe. But then again, it doesn't have that much fire damage. Compared to what I have right now, I just kept it just in case. Just to do a comparison. All right? And, of course, I got some more fire damage here. Which, like I said, it's not much more fire damage. But it brings burn damage to the table right there. So I think that's going to help me out as far as damage goes. I don't have to worry about anything when it comes to damage, guys. All right, so then I have these gloves right here, which is going to give me 10 elemental damage, 50% plus elemental damage, um, plus 30%, 37% burn damage, frost burn damage, yada yada, electrocute damage, things like that. All right, it's not necessary, but we do have it. Okay, so I'm not crying, I'm not complaining, it's all good. Rings has all damage. I don't really see anything with fire. Oh, this one has fire on it, and it has all damage. Doesn't really make up too much of a difference there, but I mean, I do have it and I'm not complaining. So it is what it is, guys. But like I said, this build right here, man, holy smokes. Literally, no pun intended. All right, so I'm just running through here and I'm gonna just start gathering up my teammates here and they're gonna be shocked. They're gonna say, damn, dude, where'd you get this build? <laughs> they're gonna be like, holy crap, dude, you're really raping the face. Because whenever I play certain characters, I do melt. A lot of the air, um, the mobs. Like we're gonna probably melt these guys. They might melt me too. You know, just gotta make sure these range ones don't really do a lot of damage to you. You know, skill wise, what I'm using right now, I'm using the Rune of Kalistor, which I rarely, you don't really see me use them unless I'm with a whole bunch of packs of mobs and we're indoors basically. So the only time I've seen that, I have to use that kind of stuff. Um, and also, I'm using the Inquisitor Seal. Um, then for when it comes for the healing. Word of Renewal, which I only have, I think, one point in there. So it's not really going to do too much, but it's going to heal you. All right. Then I have the buffs, the RO Censure, which I need to put lots. I need to max these points out. And then also go for the Arcanist Tree at the Iskandra's Elemental Exchange. All right. So that's last but not least. Okay. And that's what I have there. Now, I just need to knock out some quests here and level. And this, so far, I just made this character and I'm already 37. So, I mean, like I said, it doesn't take too long to level in this game. But when you get a character and everything is already strong, it makes that much sense to stick with it. But yeah, this is my favorite character out of all of them, guys. And I've made a lot of characters um, since I've been playing here. Now, if you guys don't believe me, now I haven't gotten anyone to 100 yet, but I do have a lot of characters. All right. So I started some of them over. This is probably about maybe two to three or four characters that I redone, you know, from scratch. All right. So I redid the Necromancer at least once. The Conjurer, this is my second one. Um, the Druid is my first one. The Purifier is my second one. Ritualist is my first one. The Paladin, this is my second one. Um, Battle Mage is pretty cool, actually, too. It's my first one. Apostate is pretty cool as well. Spellbinder, then that's the first one there. Spellbreaker, I didn't really try that one yet. Cabalist, that is my first one. Deceiver is my first one. Mage Hunter is the one I'm playing now. It's so my first one. Um, the Commandos first. Oppressor is first. 
Pyro is first. Sentinel is the second one. Reaper is the second or first one. Um, and, um, Tactician is the first one. Vindicator is first one. Warden second one. Warlord third one. And Death Knight fourth one. All right, so that's that's a lot of making characters and deleting them. That's what I was doing, guys. Um, because I, I just want to keep my same name. If you like to play certain games and you want to keep your name, you're gonna of course erase a couple different things as well. Um, but that's pretty much all of it in a nutshell, guys. That's the build, man. Just stay tuned for more streams and stuff like that. You know, you can follow me on Twitch. If you guys watch this on YouTube, make sure you guys subscribe. This is what we're doing, guys. We're going hard. 2022, we're going to go hard in these games. I just want to find the optimal build so I can just, like, demolish everything. All the content. So that I can finish it all and be bored. But that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any kinds of input or some things like that, let me know in the comments below. Definitely want to hear from you guys. I'm looking forward to it. I know you guys put out some good um, comments and some good advice and things like that. And I really wholeheartedly appreciate that, guys. All right, so definitely thanks for the support. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.